So once you have your list of seed keywords, those few short tail keywords you know right offhand, this describes my business, this describes my product. So now we want to extend those short tail keywords, those single words or two word phrases, into long tail keywords. So using my seed keyword generator, CourseEnvy.com slash seed dash keyword dash generator. Remember, my top two Google searches are buyer searches and info seeking searches. So we can add these long tail filler keywords with these short tail keywords to create long tail keywords. So words like best, reviews, where to buy, how to, top 10, DIY, compare. So let's start with an info seeking search. Say I'm a food blogger and I've created a great salsa recipe. So let's start with that. There's my short tail keyword. I like to do a minimum 20 searches, so this will output 20 keywords for each seed keyword. So we'll start with that and I leave all the advertiser competition fully checked. I don't care what the competition is on Google AdWords and I'll show you why here in a bit. So results are popping up already. We can sort this by volume. And as you can see, the factor I care about is average KC, the keyword competitiveness. How easily can I rank in Google search for this keyword? So there we have it, salsa recipe. Awesome search volume, 90,500. But I'm gonna just guess this KC or, or keyword competitiveness is gonna be really high and difficult to rank for. So as you can see, a few things I pull from this instantly. Salsa recipe, great volume. 90,000 searches a month in the United States. If I wanted to compete on Google AdWords, it actually would be pretty easy. There's low competition for this keyword and the bid is actually pretty cheap per click, 22 cents. But average Keyword competitiveness, average KC, is 43. Actually not bad. Anything north of 45, I won't even touch. So anything above 45, I won't touch. I prefer ranking for things below 40, so I usually add exclude KC 39. But I won't do that for this one. I just want to show you all results. So 43, not bad. But, like I said, let's add these seed keyword generator ideas. So how do we expand on this keyword, salsa recipe? I could first click here, add 20 AdWords suggestions based on this keyword. That's an easy way to just expand instantly. But, let's do it manually up above with the seed keywords. So let's add that info seeker, right? So best. What's another info seeker keyword? Easy. Remember, one seed keyword per line and up to five per search. So let's try that. There's two info seekers. Okay, let's scroll down, watch our results. Here's a long tail popped up. Pico de Gallo Salsa Recipe 480. Now that's a pretty narrow keyword. Not bad though. So let's scroll up, see them as they appear. No long tails with high search volume, unfortunately. I like to get something above 2000 to build a money page around or a main target page. I'll build a blog post for anything over 10 or 20 search volume because those are 10 or 20 very specific searches in Google, right? So yes, I'd build a site or a money page around 2,000 plus search volume, but I'll build any blog post with a search volume north of 10 or 20. So let's look here. There's some really long tail keywords. Best salsa recipe in the world, 70. Great blog post, but 40 keyword competitiveness. I want something in the 30s or preferably in the 20s so I know I can rank for it. Here we go, easy salsa recipe without cilantro. 
32, 20 people are searching it a month. Now that's a great niche blog post. I know I can rank for it in Google. 20 people directly are looking for it. And that doesn't mean just 20 people are going to find it a month. What other keywords are in this long tail keyword? Easy salsa recipe. Salsa recipe. So let's go look at the search volume for those two. We already know what salsa recipe was. That was 90,500. So let's see if easy salsa. Here we go. Easy salsa recipe. 4,400. So see what I'm doing there? I'm mixing a few together. Easy salsa recipe, salsa recipe, easy salsa recipe without cilantro. So my goal is to rank for the lowest KC or competitiveness. But I may eventually rank for these other keywords as well. So that's a great info seeking one. Let's do a buyer one. Maybe we'll compare some shoes. So let's do Converse versus Vans. So one note here though, I should have created a new project. Right here I could have typed in Shoes Research, added a new project, and as you can see, all my past projects appear here. Therefore you don't have to mix these various projects, such as Salsa Recipe and my shoe comparison request, right? So that's just one note. Keep your project separate if you want to go back and look at past keyword searches. So let's look at that Converse versus Vans keyword. There we go. Pretty good. 1,000 searches a month. So that KC is still loading. So one way to remove all this salsa recipe stuff, let's go up to here, include keywords containing Converse, that's the shoe I'm looking to buy and I'm comparing it to other things, right? So we just click add. Now let's come back down. Here's our smaller list. Good, good. So let's wait for that average KC. Now while this is loading, we can add other keywords. What other buyer keywords do we suggest? Reviews, Converse reviews, there's a great keyword. Maybe I don't want to spend a lot. Let's go lowest price Converse. Or even more specific, let's say Converse under $50. So let's add those. Wow, look at this, Converse versus Vans, 1,000. That's awesome search volume. I'll gladly build a blog post around that. And the average KC, 28. This is huge, here's a freebie for you guys. Go build a blog post around this. Make some affiliate links to some Converse and some Vans shoes on any website you can become an affiliate for, such as Amazon. Give a nice side-by-side -side review of each, and then include affiliate links for each and you could be attracting a thousand people searching this term a month and rank for it pretty easily in Google search. So I would have website, preferably a website that's relevant to shoes. So shoes.com slash converse dash versus dash vans and then title that page converse versus vans. An in-depth review comparing these top skate shoes. So I've got the keyword in the title, I've got the keyword in the URL, I've got the keyword in the meta description, so I'll want to include that again in that 156 character description, Converse versus Vans. An in-depth review of these two top skate shoes. Which one will win? Something like that for the meta description, right? Then I want to write 500 plus words and include this keyword with a keyword density of 1%. So if I type a thousand words, what's 1% of a thousand? 10. I want this keyword to appear 
10 times, so Converse versus Vans. I like to keep mine under 1% actually, so between that 0.5 and 1%. So I can put it in H2 headings. I can put it within text in the body of that blog post and so on. So again, we can dig deeper into this by clicking this plus and let Longtail Pro search even more for us. So now it's digging deeper within this keyword. Now another good tip for this, when you're adding and extending and, and finding more of these seed keywords, use these other keywords within the main blog post or page you create. So yes, our page or blog is gonna be called Converse versus Vans, but within that blog post, let's use some other long tail keywords that we can possibly rank for. Remember the easy salsa recipe? We're ranking for easy salsa, easy salsa recipe, salsa recipe, and then that long one, easy salsa recipe without cilantro. So I'm obviously going to include an H2 that would be called Converse Reviews. What's some other low case C Converse versus Van sizing? Another great H2. So in my mind, I'm creating a great side-by-side -side review blog post titled Converse versus Vans. One subheading would be Converse Reviews. Another subheading, H2, title tag, would be Converse versus Van sizing. And I'd give a nice little review of how these Converse fit. Are they narrow? Are they wide? Don't just make up keywords and hope you rank for them. Use the data. Input keywords into your articles, into your titles, into your meta descriptions based on search volume and competitiveness.